Hi everyone, I'm Corey Wells, back for day nine of National Poetry Month. Yesterday I shared the poem, What I Mean When I Say Truck Driver by Jeffrey Davis, uh, which is a story about, a narrative poem, about um, a father and a family and a son. Um, and that brings me today to a poem about a mother, uh, which is told from a perspective much later in life. This is called Vinegar and Fizz, and it is by David Graham from his book, The Honey of Earth, which is from Terrapin Books, uh, which happens to be the same publisher who published my book, uh, Sugar Fix. So I'm glad to have made David's acquaintance uh, through Terrapin. Vinegar and Fizz. One. My mother could not be trusted to tell it straight. She adored welshing on a bed, spinning tails, splashing in hyperboles lake, relished a circus, the bellow and roar, musk and glitter, bananas vanishing down clown pants in cheap yellow air. First in line for the freak show, dazzled by carny patter, never met a dog or horse she didn't love. Children? Maybe yes, maybe no. She spoke other languages, if possible, applied pressure to a bleeding wound, plucked floundering toddlers out of the deep end, getting her good house dress soaked. You wanted her around in an emergency. But what an unreliable witness. She told it slant, but never all. Couldn't tell it straight, I think. But when have facts ever been the point of any tale? Don't bet against her, friend. Did her many balloons wobble brightly to the ceiling? Yes. Did she place a single peanut on my pudgy palm for the elephant to lift with its trunk? Of course, a touch still zapping me 60 years later. My mother would never turn away from any elephant, juggler, parade, song, or barker beating his drum of gorgeous lies. Two. The doctor settles opposite her in a straight chair, looking kindly and earnest, and I can tell what's coming. He asks her her name, and of course she snorts. You know that. Yes, he does. But then he inquires if she can say what season. She looks around the ward craftily decorated tree, tinsel, cartoon snowflakes stuck to the windows. It's almost Christmas. What are you getting me? Next, he wonders if she knows the year. She glares into his face, allows a sullen pause, then 1937, she says. And so it is. She's going on 16, a girl ready to burn and roam. Nobody's fool, a spitfire, all vinegar and fizz. The war is but a vague mist on the horizon. This year has a gleaming, sun-scoured sound, 1937. The train is about to leave the station for the one and only time. She'll be damned if she won't be on it and ride far from home. Again, Vinegar and Fizz by David Graham. And there's so much that we learn and enjoy about that mother in, in this poem uh, and the tenderness with the situation that she's in in later life. But also, I just love this line, when have facts ever been the point of any tale? For all you storytellers out there, who in your life couldn't be trusted to tell it straight? And what do you say about them? Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you tomorrow for another daily reading for National Poetry Month. Bye.